Bifora, which is a world-renowned region for the study of human origins. And our goal is to have the students on the field in regards to surveys, excavations, and all other related fields in the study of paleoanthropology. This area around Lake Turkana is one of the most important cradles of humankind in the world. And here in this geological formation called the Kubifora Formation, paleontologists have found some of the earliest and best evidence of our early human ancestor called Homo erectus. The lifetime of work up here, 17 years ago, I uh, began to help coordinate a research and educational mission which was fully collaborative with the National Museums of Kenya. Say over the years, Kobifora Field School has been lucky to collaborate with the local communities because of hospitality and the welcoming of these local people. And it's from this culture, as we know in archaeology, the present is the key to the past. That's why we study ethno-archaeology. The Kobifora Field School provides many different projects that are all happening at once that help students explore this, these issues and also explore a new region of the world and a really rich local community. So a typical field season uh, for me on the Kubi 4 Field School involves a few different things. I really try to emphasize student learning in addition to the research that's going on. It's been wonderful because you've been able to get really in depth with what it means to do really solid field research. Um, and as a graduate student, that's great experience for me looking at putting together my own research agenda and um, getting ready to come up with a proposal and come up with a dissertation of my own. I've learned more in just the brief stint, the, the few weeks that I've been here, than my years of college combined. And I can apply it. And it's been a very exciting time uh, because this sort of research has blossomed within the last few years. We have a lot of, especially young people, who are really passionate about this work. You could be anywhere else right now, right? You could be sitting on the beach or you could be with your friends, spend the summer doing that, but people spend their summer here because they're really passionate about going out and finding things and not, it may not always work out, but this is what they, where they'd rather be. This is just a completely new setting. I've done some traveling before, but never to Africa.